Hey girls, you're so welcome to Sisters on the Sofa today. Um, we're joined by Holly and by Ruth to have a little chat and hear um, more about their heart and what God is doing in their life. Um, so girls, I really wanted you to come in today to talk about um, what it means to be rooted in worship. Mm -hmm. Holly, I know that you're the musical director and piano player and person extraordinaire for chapel band <laughs> um, and Ruth you're obviously um, leading the charge of chapel band and worship leading and involved with like the create mm -hmm. stream here in chapel um, so can you guys tell me maybe Holly first like why is it important for us as girls to be rooted in worship like is it beneficial do we need to be or what's the value of worship to us yeah I think um it comes down to our very core and our being. Mm. We were created to worship. It's so good. If worship isn't at the core of any relationship in our life, mm. it breaks down. Mm. If we're not praising people and being encouraging, mm. it will eventually break down. And that's why I think it's so important for worship with God because mm. it keeps that relationship strong. I love that, Holly. I love what you've shared that, yeah, when you break it down to like just a relationship that you need to keep the, that method of communication open and that ultimately one of the ways that we communicate and maintain our relationship with God is through worship. Mm. Um, sometimes I feel like that, or sometimes I hear that some people are like, oh, you know what? like. It's so great for Holly and it's so great for Ruth, like that they have like a gift of worship and like that's great for them and they're really passionate and that's theirs, but like it's not really for me. Mm. But yet the Bible kind of says that it's for everybody. So like, what do you guys feel about that? Or what could you say to somebody who kind of thinks that, that it's not really for them? Yeah. yeah, I think that's a really common thought within the church, within Christian communities, that worship is just for the worship leaders and for the worship team. Yeah. This idea of like, we well, are on the worship team. Whereas like like the Lord has said that every everything we do unto him is worship. Like yeah. what Holly's saying. Yeah. Like when, when she writes an email to the team about an arrangement, that's mm. worship. That's her saying, you know what, Lord, I put you number one and so I'm gonna serve you in this way. I think as well that something that I found in my own life is that um, worship can have such an impact on my daily life oh, yeah. so that actually even proves more to the point that it's not just about the stage or it's not just about mm -hmm. music because on a Wednesday when I'm on the bus and I'm worshipping it impacts my life mm -hmm. right um, so can you tell us a little bit about how worship does like that impact our daily life and does it help us through challenges or how have you experienced God like in worship on a normal day and how's mm -hmm. helped? I think just having, like Ruth was saying, that mm. lifestyle of worship, being rooted in worship, going about your everyday, yeah. and it's not necessarily waiting for Sunday or your midweek group to get your fix of God, yeah. but yeah. when we do that, when we worship with everything, when we're living out that excellence God's put on our life, that's when we really see breakthrough in areas. Yeah. When we hand over everything and give it all to God in our daily mm. lives, that's when we can flourish, that's when we can see the yeah. plans He has for our lives. Oh, and it can just bring yeah. such a peace. Worship has an yeah. amazing power to bring just complete peace in whatever situation you're in. Yeah. And when that's our daily life, that's what we're doing, you'll see immediate breakthrough yeah. in whatever you're doing. Yeah. Sometimes I think in our daily life, like if we're honest, right, that it can be really hard mm -hmm. to like have that encounter with God um, and to like feel the presence of God. So like how can we pu push past that and what role does worship play there? I'm reading this book at the moment called Manifest Presence by Jack Hayford, who's like legend in talking about worship. He's a worship leader, yeah. like amazing man of God. And he's saying like that view so often we think, yeah, that, that view of like God needs us. But actually we need to worship God and God changes us through worship and God wants us to worship not so just that he can be glorified and magnified although that is one end of it but also so that he can change us yeah. so that we can be changed and we can be ministered to through worship but as well as that I think like you were saying when you wake up in the morning and you don't feel anything and you don't like you don't you're, you're running throughout your day and you don't that desire in your heart isn't like I need to worship God I want yeah. to worship God 
we were only talking about this actually before we sat down and I was just saying like I think in the world that we live in and society that we live in today our lives are so full of so many things vying for our attention being affected by this or by this or by whatever it is that's around me I was made to like be in the heavenlies of God and be worshipping him essentially what you're saying is that like worship keeps us on that spirit level with God mm, yeah. whereas sometimes even for me I found like yeah I'd be scrolling or I'd be reading and then I come to open my my Bible and I'm like it's not really jumping out at me yeah. I'm not really feeling that blessed and it's like yeah because you've been engaging in like natural behaviors like nothing really that bad but it's not engaging in that spiritual like communication as you said earlier with God